Hi, laying in here. I'm just finally sitting down to film an introduction to um, rescuing the new pet behind me. Uh, and it is another box turtle who I found on Craigslist really needing a home. Um, let me read you the letter that um, was on Craigslist. Sorry, I forgot to, to bring my thing so I could actually read it. Um, and I do want to clarify saying that this family was really, really, really sweet. This was a really, really, really sweet family. Um, they just, and I could tell they knew about other kinds of uh, reptiles. Just this box turtle. Um, was a mistake for them. So here's their post from Craigslist. I'm looking for a good home for a sweet little box turtle my kids picked up in Blank County over three years ago. Yes, I know they shouldn't have done that, but they did. She knows. Don't pick up box, don't take home wild animals. I know now he can't survive on his own, and making worm salads for a turtle isn't my idea of fun. His name is Shelbert, but he doesn't know that. I am using he and him pronouns because with the absence of a visible wiener or titties, I have no idea if he's a boy or a girl. And it hasn't told me which pronouns it prefers. I didn't think to ask. <laughs> Um, I can get pictures if you like, but frankly all box turtles look the same. Not true. These are two different breeds of box turtles that I have now. Mr. Turtleson and this turtle are two different breeds. Um, he is about four inches long and pretty cute if you're into that kind of thing. His only trick is looking like a rock or maybe he is dead. He has lived with a darkling beetle for a while, but they don't seem to spend much quality time together. So I think they can be separated. I think it, they're pretty much just roommates at this point. If you think Shelbert are a good match, Please respond with what type of habitat you have available for him, how you will meet his dietary needs. <laughs> Contrary to what my dad told me when I was a kid, raw hamburger is not an appropriate diet for a wild turtle, so don't come at me with that nonsense. So I was really drawn to that post because clearly she had a sense of humor. Clearly they liked the turtle, but they weren't um, able to keep up with it. And uh, so I drove an hour and a half and they drove an hour and a half to meet me to exchange the turtle in a Walmart parking lot in the middle of nowhere. Um, we wore masks, we didn't touch each other, we kept social distance, so hopefully that's all, all good. And um, yeah, the rest of the footage is just me saving and introducing our new box turtle. And as she said, and I say many times in the video, Box turtles are an amazing pet if you can get them captive bred or through as a rescue, but do not take them in from the wild. Um, thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And um, Mr. Kitty and I hope that you enjoy this video and your entire day. So something pretty exciting might be happening today. I'm rescuing a friend from Mr. Turtles. Go, 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 go. All right, I'm not going to to um, bug them too much, but I just want to show I didn't I had no idea that this turtle was going to be this young. I'm freaking amazed. 
um it's okay baby oh boy you're gonna have such a good home I promise Wow, so I am just amazed. Um, I'm here in this Walmart parking lot where I met up with the lovely family who needed to rehome their turtle. Um, I'll read uh, the letter that I found from them on Craigslist and all that stuff when I get home and get set up. But um, I'm just really amazed. I mean, I drove an hour and a half to meet them because they met me halfway which is so nice and um the turtle is a lot younger than I thought um she was gonna be and I'm just I'm so grateful for the to, to have this experience of keeping her because really uh it's not a type of turtle that you can get as a pet easily um it is illegal to take turtles from the wild do not take turtles from the wild however once a turtle has been kept in captivity for a certain amount of time they lose their ability to survive in their wild as well as they can develop parasites that um, are fine for them in their captive life but that they can spread to other animals and then hurt the existing population but turtles are endangered and you should never ever take them in from the wild both of the turtles that I have were taken in by the wa I mean, including this baby here with me now. Um, she was taken from the wild by somebody else and rehomed to me, you know, Mr. Turtleson was taken by those drug dealers. Um, if you guys don't remember that story, it's crazy. Mr. Turtleson actually ran away from these meth dealers in my old neighborhood. It was, um, it was insane. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to drive home. I'm going to get her all set up in her temporary tank. And then once she's settled in a little bit, we'll get a good peek at her. Thing I am doing right when I am home is I am getting her in a dechlorinated bath outside. I'm going to let her bask in the sun for a little bit and uh, hopefully just kind of get any... She could get clean before we go inside. Uh, and I'm doing it all at once because once I get her in her enclosure, I just want to leave her alone for a few days and let her de-stress. This is my first look at her. Her? Oh, I think we might actually have a boy. Can't tell if this is flat or curved. I think we might have a boy. All right, go, sweetie. Let's get you a good soak. Let's get you a good soak in, baby. She or he, they, they told me they thought that it was a she. Um, whether or not he is a he or a she is kind of going to be kind of dependent on uh, if the bottom part of their shell is flat or curved because uh, boys have a little bit of a curve so that they can um, mount the girls when they need to. Uh, it looks like she he might need a uh, beak trim but that's hard to tell yet. They weren't it not really caring for her. I guess the kids uh, you know, she let her kids take him inside a couple of years ago and she don't do, but you know, once it's done, it's done. Um, and uh, they've had him, her about three years 
and now the kid that took them in is 19 and isn't interested anymore. Um, so they just want to find a really, really good home, and I found them. But uh, yeah, this poor, this poor turtle has had to drive three hours today. Three hours. Man, so beautiful. I know. They're more skittish than Mr. Turtleson. So while she's finishing up her soak outside, I just wanted to show you what I have set up as a temporary enclosure. This is obviously not going to be her long-term home. This is just where she's going to live till I have a chance to take her to the vet, make sure she doesn't have worms, etc., etc., and can be in the same area as Mr. Turtleson. I just have a hide in there. I have some apples that I dusted with uh, calcium and vitamin D3 and a dechlorinated water dish. This is not what they will need long term. Oh, and UVA, UVB lighting. Um, but this should be a nice little safe start for her. So I thought that I was getting another three-toed box turtle. That's what Mr. Turtleson is, and they're native here. But this girl's got, girl or boy's got four toes. So I'm wondering if maybe he is a eastern box turtle. This is some of the things that can happen when you're doing rescue when you're on Craigslist. I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm thrilled. I don't. I. I didn't pay a cent for this guy, other than you know vet costs. What my vet costs will be and stuff. I just got to rescue them. All right, honey. I am gonna gender you now. Yeah, you're pyramiding a little. Yeah, it looks like we have a boy. Looks like we have a boy because of that curve on the shell. Hi. Hi, honey. Focus, focus. So beautiful. So tiny. We're gonna go inside now. Bonus hermit crab footage. Yes, hermit crab police. That is eight inches of substrate at the top. I'm not going to mess. I did figure out she is a she. Um, just looking at the placement of the curve I saw was not the same as Mr. Turtleson's or his other male turtles. Um, I'm not going to get her out and mess with her anymore tonight. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn out the lights and let her rest. I am pleased to see it looks like she at least messed with her food. Maybe took a bite or two, which is good. She had recently been fed and pooped some tomato uh, on the way here, so um, I'm not too worried about that yet. Um, I am seeing that her shell has not grown as well as it should have, and there are, uh, I am a little bit concerned about her front arms, um, but she's so beautiful and I am so excited to have her, and love your pets, and they will love you back, and like and subscribe. If you like learning about animals, rescuing animals, goldfish, and just kind of life blogs, thank you.